तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लुक एट टेन वेब डेवलपमेंट फ्रेमवर्क फाइव ऑफ देम आर फॉर द फ्रंट एंड एंड फाइव ऑफ देम आर फॉर द बैक एंड और द सर्वर साइड नाउ ऑफ कोर्स वी विल लुक एट सम ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर वेब डेवलपमेंट फ्रेमवर्क इन द मार्केट एंड हाउ डू दे वट आर देयर प्रोज एंड कॉन्स वट आर देयर स्ट्रेंथ एंड देयर वीकनेसेस so we will look at all of them for the five front end and for the five back end and of course i will also identify what is the characteristics what are something special about those frameworks and i will also talk about that across these frameworks what things makes a framework popular or uh, most the used and what are the things which are not so much technical but which are with reference to their usability also which makes them popular or unpopular so to say so let's go through uh, those 10 frameworks so i will make a comparison of those frameworks vis a vis pros and cons and i will also briefly tell you about those frameworks so that everything falls together so this is the outline of the module so we will look at first the front end or the client side frameworks and then we will look at the back end or the server side web development frameworks if you recall that these frameworks facilitate in development of those wonderful web based database enabled websites so let's go ahead so pros and cons so let's first talk about django okay so you can see that it is the 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 cons are it is monolithic monolithic means that it is kind of a one tier application so it is kind of a bulky application and since it is monolithic so it is no wonder that it is not the fastest one okay so that is very clear now one thing which is very clear over here also is that it has great documentation it has great documentation and of course there is something which is over here which is security it is secure so if we are working in the context say a uh, e-commerce websites of which involve security the django is the thing to go now there is something which you will be seeing over here which is mvp mvp stands for minimum functionality product and this is used to get the user feedback user feedback and this user feedback is then used to enhance that application it is scalable and flexible now there are thousands of projects using django thousands okay thousands of projects using django and it's one of the older website development frameworks it was released in 2005 in 2005 it's still one of the topics due to its modern view on problem solving and constant improvements right and it is developed using python which is one of the most used programming languages so it is python based so let's look at the next one so we have express js its simplicity is the main thing simplicity is the main thing and web development framework one of the many open source framework it is also open source source frameworks and the string is there it's a great number of out of the box tools and many solutions can be made with just a couple of code of lines so it is packages for api development that we have discussed in lot of details now this is the problem over here these error messages are not very helpful so this is one of the cons and this simplicity as a matter of fact becomes its weakness also it is not suitable for heavy applications so you see that there has to be balance over here then we have ruby on rails which is written in the ruby language this is the language ruby language okay and it is used today by more than actually it is around a million around a million users okay live websites such as airbnb airbnb uses them airbnb uses them 
yellow pages groupon and many others this web framework has a wide spectrum of uses including solving very complicated development problems okay but you see that it is very fine it is many things over here but because of this documentation issue over here that is not good that is a con over here okay so and fast development at the same time not a good choice for heavy loads all right so let's move on and we have spring so spring is the main purpose is the ability to simplify creation of j to j to e applications enterprise applications it is possible and it has many advantages provide you with a framework for your future applications it has strict architecture it simplifies the process a lot okay now it is difficult to learn it is wonderful so if you recall when we were looking at some of the red applications i mentioned that java also has a steep learning curve and this is thing over here also and it can be unstable also okay and of course it is known for its weakened dependency between objects and the absence of the necessity to connect objects manually so connection is manual connection is also a problem manual connection okay in addition to its instability so let's look at symphony so it has fast development good okay reusable code and you see that it has great documentation so this great documentation was not the case for the prior which we also discussed okay so its strength is stability high speed flexibility okay and possibility for code reuse code reuse is there and of course when you look at high performing applications it is a very convenient even dispatcher together with dependency injection and possibilities for code optimization not only the code is reused but it can also be optimized so these are some of the strengths of symphony but of course it is comparatively slow so if you are looking at some fast applications this is not the best choice now let's look at some of the back end frameworks pros and cons of the back end frameworks so let's look at angular usually it is considered the best it is the best one okay and it is from the google angular js its predecessor its predecessor was angular js okay the first release in 2009 and it was then completely written in 2016 so you see that it is good for mvp and prototyping and easy to write the test also but you see over here again quite difficult to learn the learning curve is difficult all right and let gain the issues of the documentation cli is the command line documentation okay and then we have the ember okay and after the ember you see again difficult to learn again difficult to learn so these are the cons over here and finally we end with the react and value js you see the problem over here is poor documentation So you see that it is not the strength of these frameworks, but there are certain issues over here which are common across all of them. What are the issues? Issues are the documentation, the issues are the speed, and the issues are the learning curve. Okay, so that's all I have for you in this module. Thank you very much.